Hello, my name is Dylan Fallen. I'm an instructor at Dodge City Community College. And right now I'd like to go ahead and talk to you about um, this particular problem, which asks us to solve the equation, but in addition we're supposed to determine if the equation is an identity, inconsistent, or conditional. Right, so we want to classify what type of equation we have because not all equations work out in the standard way where you get a solution for x. And I have a feeling this is going to be one of those cases. All right, so we're asked to solve this equation. 3 times parentheses x minus 6 equals 3x minus 18. All right, so even though the directions sort of tip us off that maybe we should expect something unusual to happen, we just need to approach this problem like we would approach any other equation and just try to solve for x, which means getting x by itself on one side of the equation. And so what is the first step to accomplishing this for this particular problem? Well, we need to get x out of that parentheses, right? We have x in two different places in this equation. And while that's the case, we cannot solve for x. You can't solve for x while it's located in two different places. Right? We need to get x in one location, which means we need to combine them together. And we're not going to be able to do that while this x is inside of this parentheses. So how do we get rid of that? We get rid of the parentheses by distributing the 3. All right, so we're going to distribute the 3 into this parentheses. That gets rid of the parentheses. It frees x up so that we can combine it with any other x's that we might come across. And so we're going to end up getting 3x minus 18 on the left-hand side equals, well, the right-hand side, I'm just going to copy that down, which also happens to be 3x minus 18. Now, at this point, I want you to notice that the left-hand side is identical to the right-hand side. This means that regardless of what I plug in for x, the equation is always going to be true because I'm going to get the same number on the left-hand side as I would get on the right-hand side. Right? If I'm going to plug in a number for x, I'm going to get the same result on the left-hand side as I would on the right-hand side, which means it's always going to be true. Right? Um, so what will happen if we try to solve for x at this point? Well, if, you, if you're uh, cognizant enough, you, would, you, you know that this is actually going to be an identity. That's actually what an identity means. It means the left-hand side is identical to the right-hand side, and we can clearly see that's the case already. The left-hand side and the right-hand side are identical. So at this point, you could stop and say, we have an identity, and here's what our solutions are to this equation. But I like to carry it, uh, you know, carry it forward and show you what's going to happen. Uh, if we still try to solve for x. So if we still try to solve for x and you kind of follow the way I like to do things, what we would do next is we would um, get x to one side of our equation. I always like to do that first. And so what's going to happen here is I need to eliminate x from the right-hand side so that it only shows up on the left-hand side. And to do that, I'm going to subtract 3x from the right-hand side. Right. Uh, when I subtract 3x from the right-hand side, I'm obligated to do the same thing to the left hand side to keep the equation balanced out. Now notice on the right hand side what's going to happen are the x's are going to cancel out and I'm just going to end up with negative 18. But the same thing happens on the right hand side and a lot of times students have trouble accepting this. They see the x's and they they can't let that go. They can't except the reality that x is just going to disappear from the com equation completely. And a lot of times I have students that have, as a result, on the left-hand side, they will have something like this, x minus 18. Right? And 3x minus 3x, they, they feel like an x still needs to be there when that's just not the case. Right? The x is gone. Right? It, it got eliminated from the right-hand side, 3x minus 3x. They cancel each other out. Same thing happening on the left-hand side, 3x minus 3x, the x's cancel out. The x's are gone from the left-hand side also. And so we end up with negative 18 negative equals negative 18. We no longer have a variable to solve for. The variable has disappeared from our equation. And any time that the variable disappears from your equation, you know that it's going to be one of these special cases. It's either going to be an identity or it's going to be inconsistent. And the way you tell which one it's going to be is based on what happens when the variable gets eliminated. In this case, what we got was negative 18 is equal to negative 18. And this is always true, right? Negative 18 always equals negative 18. That's always going to be true. So the variables are gone, and the result that we have is something that's always true, which means that the original equation is always true also. No matter what you plug in for x, the equation is always going to come out true, and that is what we call an identity. Right? So this means we have an identity. That's the type of equation we have. And like I said, it's always true no matter what you plug in for x. So the solutions...